Here we have for sale our July 2021 on a 21 plate Ford Transit Custom. This is the 300 model. I mean, it's got a three ton gross vehicle weight. This has got the two litre Eco Blue diesel Euro 6 engine producing 130 brake horsepower. And in this vehicle, accompanied with the automatic gearbox, which is very rare in a panel van like this. And this is the short wheelbase limited vehicle. And what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on a Ford Transit Custom Limited of this age. We'll also have a really good look at the condition and I'll also talk to you a little bit about the service history as well, seeing as this vehicle is currently available for sale at the time of recording. So starting here then at the rear of the vehicle, this one is spec'd with rear barn doors. So barn doors are two doors which open like so. And we can also have a look at some of the spec that we've got here. So this one has had a full styling package fitted. So this one at, at the back then that includes the rear spoiler. On a limited you get a number of elements which come colour coded. That includes the door handles all around, the bumpers, so the rear bumper, the front bumper, these trims down the side here and the door handles as well. And you get parking sensors. So this one's got rear parking sensors and front parking sensors also. A couple of tiny little marks to speak of here on the rear bumper. So one just here above my my finger then we will touch that in in the correct touch-up pencil so you probably won't see that and there's also a tiny little touch-up just there as well to be done in the very center as well this one has had a reverse camera fitted uh, but i'll show you i say it's an aftermarket camera but they've nicely integrated it into the head unit of the vehicle so it looks really really smart indeed looking here then at the rear doors pretty much faultless there's not a lot there to complain about there they're all looking really really smart no sort of dings or dents if we open up the rear of the vehicle then we can start to have a look at the load space here if you pull this little yellow arm that allows you to open the door right out to its full 180 degree position for maximum accessibility into the back and you can do exactly the same of course with the other door as well give that a pull clips into place there and then we can have a look at the load space this one has got a factory optional extra which is led load lights so you can see here it's sort of starting to get a bit dimmer outside but still lovely and bright inside there with those LED load lights, four LED load lights in there. Factory fitted bulkhead, a couple of little dings and dents actually in that bulkhead, uh, just from of course cargo moving around in the back of here, but of course doesn't take away from the functionality. And of course we've got the uh, load through uh, cover just there as well. Looking inside the back then, we can see that this one is of course ply lined and that is the idea of the ply lining is to protect the van. So if you've got cargo moving around here in the back, it's not going to cause any outward dents. Uh, this isn't brand new ply lining. This is the ply lining that it came with in the vehicle when we took it in. And you can see there, clearly not had a particularly hard life. Really nice flooring in the Limited. It comes with this nice, easy, clean, uh, hard wearing plastic flooring in the back. And there's plenty of tie down points as well in the back of there as well. But it's really nice to see the sort of exposed metalwork areas all in very, very good condition here. As I say, just a sign that this vehicle has not had a hard life at all. If we shut the rear doors, we'll then continue to go around the outside of the vehicle. Moving then down the passenger side here, and this is where we can start to have a look down the side of the vehicle, looking for any dings or dents or anything like that. And it must be said, looking very, very straight and tidy. This one also, as part of the styling package, has got a lovely set of 18 inch gloss black alloy wheels fitted. And it must be said, looking in very, very good condition as well. Tires all seem to be in good order. This vehicle has been right through our workshop um, during our preparation. So we've given it uh, an oil and filter service during that preparation. And of course, a full uh, multi-point health check as well and it's now got a really good clean bill of health and of course when you buy the vehicle you get a full record of that to take with you as well uh, moving on your ownership journey but looking really really smart in the back of here and a really nice usable space if we open up the passenger door then we can start to have a look inside the cab just here so the passenger door card all looking again in very good condition same with the step just here, if we look onto the floor, if I move this mat out of the way, you can see here nice rubber over mats, which is always a good sign. Someone's, as they looked after the vehicle, the floor's all in very good condition. Having a look at the passenger seats here. Passenger seats looking really nice and clean. You also have storage then underneath the passenger seats. So you can flip these seats forward there 
and this just goes to show again how good of a job our guys do absolutely fantastic condition on there we always um, include an extra wheel brace with vehicles which have got aftermarket alloy wheels just so that you uh, if you were to have a puncture on the side of the road you're going to be able to get the wheel off in the center then we've got the fold down work tray so we've got a couple of cup holders there and also somewhere to store some paperwork as well if you want to but what really strikes me here in the cab is just how clean and tidy these seats are there's no rips tears cigarette bins anything like that it doesn't smell like a smokers or uh, a pet owner's vehicle in here, very, very clean and tidy indeed. We've got a 12 volt socket on this side and also a USB there as well, which of course you can utilize. And I'll show you a bit more of the features when we go around to the driver's side. This is the new placement on the new shape custom of the bonnet release, which I think is much better, not on the uh, outside in the grill as they previously were. Looking then around to the front of the vehicle and from this front quarter, again, we can see a bit more of this body sliding. So we've got lovely black sidebars, black roof bars this one's got a front splitter and the all-important Ford trail grille which really does set the front of these vehicles off and makes it look very very smart much more aggressive looking uh, but I think just really completes the look from this front end then we can see here as I say this vehicle does have front parking sensors that comes as standard on the limited you also get front fog lights and the lovely limited headlights as well so it's a much brighter projector uh, headlights the actual headlights themselves and then you get the lovely LED daytime running light there around the outside in terms of condition then at the front of the vehicle having a really good look here at the bonnet looks very much free from stone chips looking really really clean and tidy actually uh, same situation down here say the one or two very minor stone chips if any looking really very clean indeed having a look at the windscreen then there's no chips or cracks or anything like that, which is always a good sign. And then finally on the outside of the vehicle, looking down the driver's side here, and again, just looking down this crease line here down the side of the vehicle, just goes to show how nice and clean this vehicle is. There's no ripples, dents, any sort of imperfections there to speak of. It's looking very, very clean and tidy. Having a good look at the other alloy wheels as well. You can see just how good condition that alloy wheel is there. I think they set the vehicle off really well. I think they just complement that body styling which is on the vehicle. Now if we open up the driver's door we can start to have a look inside the cab just here. So again condition of the driver's step. This is the, this is the placement there of the toolkit behind this little door just there. Looking at the floor, it's a nice Rubber over mat, if I pull it out of the way, you can see the condition of the floor underneath, all absolutely spot on and protected, which is always lovely to see. We have electric windows, electric folding mirrors. And that's how those are operated, just by pulling on that dial there, back towards you like so. You've also got auto-activated lights and wipers. You can see that we've got two full remote keys with this vehicle. Leather multifunctioning steering wheel, this all comes as standard on the Limited. You've got cruise control on the left-hand side, your volume controls for the radio underneath that your onboard computer controls on the right and you can also answer and hang up the phone. Looking at the dashboard then, we can see the mileage there, 25,178 miles recorded with no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard. I've driven this vehicle absolutely spot on, no issues at all. As I mentioned, it has got a clean bill of health of course from the workshop. USB point there which I'm utilizing, I'll show you why in just a second, and then there's another 12 volt socket up on top of there, plenty of storage on top of the dashboard in the Transit Custom. And again, the condition of the seats in this van are absolutely stunning no excessive wear it's looking really really smart indeed height adjustability here this is height adjustability of the front of the seat so if i wind that i'm not sure if you can see that but it's the front of the seat going up and down there what they call thigh adjustment so you can really get into a really comfortable position there if i jump up into the cab we can start to have a look at more of the spec inside here so as i mentioned you've got the automatic gearbox if i put the vehicle into reverse as I say, you've got your reversing camera there, which pops up, as I say, in the screen, which I think is really, really nice indeed that they've managed to do that. Looking at the screen then, you can see that we have got DAB radio here, and you've also crucially got um, App Connect. So you've got uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So in this case, I've got an Apple phone plugged into the vehicle. So you've got uh, Apple CarPlay here. This gives you features such as uh, your Apple Maps on here, you can of course listen to your podcasts, your music, all as you would do on your phone. You can even listen to um, navigate via Google Maps or Waze if that's better, uh, if you know if that's the system that you prefer. But a very, very intuitive 
Uh, easy to use system makes absolutely massive difference to the usability of the van. Now all of this spec comes as standard. This is where sort of I think the Limited really comes into its own. Air conditioning, heated front seats, heated windscreen and heated wing mirrors. As they, all of that spec comes completely as standard on other vans. A lot of that, if not all of that, would be um, optional extras but it's lovely to see that all comes as standard as they and this lovely sync 3 screen on here as well so just to summarize this vehicle then it is a july 2021 so you've got ford's manufacturer's warranty on the vehicle until july 2024 it's a ford transit customers the 300 model which you've got a three ton gross vehicle weight so it's got the upgraded uh, weight capacity on this particular van two litre eco blue diesel 130 brake horsepower short wheelbase limited panel van with the automatic gearbox vast majority of these that we get are manuals so it's a, quite a rare opportunity being the automatic finished in frozen white which i think looks absolutely fantastic against the body styling and with the gloss black alloy wheels maybe the camera isn't doing it justice i'm not sure but i think it looks really really smart indeed fantastic spec of course on the limited this one of course has got the factory optional extra of having the um LED load lights and as I say this has got an aftermarket camera but I think they've done a fantastic job of that the way that that hooks up to the screen. As I say manufacturer's warranty until July 2024 and we have just been right through the workshop as well during our preparation um, and it's I'd say a clean bit of health ready to drive away here today. If you'd like to see the full advert, if you haven't seen it already, please head over to our website, bridgeendvans.co.uk. This is where you'll find the photography, the price, and the description of this vehicle. We will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign. Please pause the video there if you'd like to make a note of those numbers. We can arrange finance at very competitive rates on all of our vehicles, of course, including this one. We can take cars or vans in part exchange, and we can arrange delivery of our vehicles nationwide. Thank you very much for watching.